Hello and welcome to the SysCard video tutorials. My name is Sergey and today I brought you a detailed review of the product options in SysCard. Let's roll! This is a two-part video, so in the first part I'm going to tell you everything about options and in the second part we will be speaking about option combinations. There are two types of options in SysCard. The first one is the global options and they are located in the products options page. And the second type is the local options that are located on the options tab in the products page. For the demonstration I'm going to create a new product. Okay, add product. I'm going to make another hoodie. Another hoodie. Okay, price 50. Don't forget to add the category. No, oh, no. No. Yes. This category. Done. Skip, skip, skip. Uh, exceptions type. Options type. Okay. Five in stock. Five. Taxes. Done. Everybody pays taxes. Parent default template. Done. Create. Okay. We created a new product. Here you can see the local options tab. I'll be speaking about them a little bit later. First, we are going to the options page where the global options are located. Global options can be applied to any product in the store. Usually it's size, color, uh, maybe some other common parameters like, uh, like cloth or fabric and other things. Okay, what is so special about them? Of course, you can edit them, delete them. I'll be speaking about option settings a little bit later. You can add a new option here, but uh, what is, re what is uh, really important here is this button, apply to products. Here you can choose any product. Uh, for example, I'm going to choose my new hoodie. Uh, ho okay, another hoodie, yes. Add products and close. You can uh, choose lots of products, one by one or just all together by using this button, I mean this button, add to product. And apply settings to them, uh, apply options to them, I'm sorry. Color and size. Okay, let's be both, because this is uh, the clothes and uh, color and size are the necessary options for the clothes. Okay, apply. Done. Options have been successfully applied to the selected products. Global options uh, can be applied to lots of uh, products at once. That's what we're used for. Let's move on. Let's go back to the products. Okay. And find our hoodie. After that, I'll continue to speak about local options. Here comes a hoodie. Okay options tab and here we have uh, the global options. Uh, we can also add global option by using this button. Just click it and uh, apply. It works both ways. We are not going to speak about forbidden combinations and option combinations. That will be the topic of the next, next video. Add option. Okay. Fabric position 10. Inventory doesn't matter. And now uh, the most important part of the um, options. How the option will look like on the products page. There are several types. Select box, radio group, checkbox, text, text area, file. Well, I'm going to show you all of them. Let's start with the select box uh, description. Mm. That doesn't matter. Okay. Comment. Yeah, you can add a comment if um, you wish. Required. Okay. Uh, required means that this option is required for the purchase. So the customer have to choose this option or choose from this option type. Okay, variants. Yeah. Here we can add different variants. Uh, for example, one, two, uh, three. That would be enough. Uh, fabric. Wool, 
Cotton and Nylon. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. Russian got in the way. Okay, Nylon. Uh, modifier, no, 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 no modifier. Uh, well, active, 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 extra. Extra allows you to change earned uh, point modifier, so the options can change the bonus points, the number of bonus points earned by purchase. Okay, and you can also add the specific um, option picture. For example, if uh, the fabric look changes the look of the whole product. Okay, don't forget about this. Special icon for the option. That's it. Create. Okay, done. Now, let's go to the storefront and uh, take a look at our new product. This is our new hoodie without the picture. That doesn't really matter. Okay. And now we can choose from, we can choose color, we can choose fabric, yeah, this is the description, different types of fabric, it's required, so we have to choose some, one of the fabrics, uh, size, okay, it's not obligatory, uh, wool, cotton, nylon, that's how the select box looks like, uh, we have three of them, by the way, alright, let's move on with other options. Next type. This time I'm going to show you how the modifiers work. Uh, for example, length, position 20, radio group. Works almost like uh, the select box. The only thing that differs is, uh, is the look. Description. Let's skip it. Okay, this time comment. Choose the perfect length. Okay, yeah, it's not required. Done. Variance. One. Long. Medium. And short. Okay, now modifiers. Well, modifiers increase uh, the price of the product. For example, this by $30, by 20 and by 10. They can also increase the weight if you choose so. Uh, for example, something like that. That's not really important now. Also, I'm going to change earned points. Okay. Now let's see how the modifiers work. Yeah, here we go. This is our new option type. Length long plus 30 medium plus 20 and short plus 10 you can see uh, the price is changing at the real time okay here we've got the comment choose the perfect length and uh, price in points 4000 points 3050 and 3000 yeah other points will be added after you will make an order okay Done with that, add option, okay, checkbox, uh, for example, waterproof, uh, I will make, I will leave no variants here, yeah, there are no variants by the way, you can only enter modifiers if you wish, uh, well, description, okay, let's keep it, create. Yeah, waterproof, checkbox. You can either check it or uncheck it. If you want to make your hoodie waterproof, you just check this box and done. The next two option types uh, works exactly the same. Uh, text and text area. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna show you the text only. Uh, customer's text. For example, it can be used when you want to add uh, your own text to your hoodie uh, to your products, uh, for example, on, on the cups, on the t-shirts, and, and so on. Yeah, so you can allow your customers to add uh, their own words, their own uh, sentences. Well, uh, customer's text, okay. Uh, reg exp, uh, this is um, when you use a specific pattern for the text area. You will have to use uh, reg exp in a hint and incorrect filling message fields. Well. I'm not I'm going to skip it for now because it's not important but 
bear it in mind. Create. Now let's take a look. Okay. Um, customer text. Uh, for example, Adidas. Yes, I want to have an Adidas brand on my hoodie. Uh, text area looks exactly the same as uh, the cast as the text type. Uh, the only difference is uh, the bigger field. So I'm not going to show you that. All right, let's move on. And the last one for today's video is file. For example, customers image. I'm a customer and I want to add my image to my new hoodie. That's where this type of option can come in handy. Uh, comment your personal image. Okay, allowed extensions, max uploading file size. Uh, well, allowed extensions, yes. Um, the format of a picture and max uploading file size is uh, you can set it to 100 kilo, kilobytes if you wish or you can leave a space blank and uh, the size will be unlimited and you can allow multi-upload to okay create done okay yes you just click this link and you can upload your picture for example i want to add my logo the logo of my company okay that's it yeah you can upload another file uh, here we have the comment here we have the title don't forget that you can add modifiers to any type of options so you can uh, raise lots of money on uh, such customization of your products uh, don't negate this tool that's it about options and option types in the next video, we'll be speaking about option combinations, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART video tutorials.